You people don't want the truth. Levels of strontium-90 started to climb around the world. Notice strontium lies one period below calcium in the periodic table. It therefore has properties similar to calcium, which is essential for life and a major component of bones. Strontium-90 can be taken up by the body and replaces calcium. Results showed that children born in 1963 had levels of 90 steradians in their deciduous teeth that was 50 times higher than that found in children born in 1950, before the advent of large-scale atomic testing. Commentators on the study said that the fallout was likely to cause increased cases of diseases in those who strontium-90 is a bone seeker that exhibits biochemical behavior similar to calcium, the next lighter group 2 element. After entering the organism, most often by ingestion with contaminated food or water, about 70 to 80 percent of the dose gets excreted. Virtually all remaining strontium-90 is deposited in bones and bone marrow, with the remaining 1 percent remaining in blood and soft tissues. Its presence in bones can cause bone cancer, cancer of nearby tissues, and leukemia. Exposure to 90 steradians can be tested by a biosay, most commonly by urinalysis. Strontium-90 is probably the most dangerous component of the radioactive fallout from a nuclear weapon. The biological half-life of strontium-90 in humans has variously been reported as from 14 to 600 days, 1,000 days, 18 years, 30 years and finally at an upper limit, 49 years. The wide-ranging published biological half-life figures are explained by the isotope's complex metabolism within the body, but by averaging overall excretion paths the biological half-life is about 18 years. Together with the cesium isotopes 134CS, 137CS, and iodine isotope 131 iod was among the most important isotopes regarding health impacts after the Chernobyl disaster. As strontium has an affinity to the calcium sensing receptor of parathyroid cells that is similar to that of calcium, the increased risk of liquidators at the Chernobyl power plant to suffer from primary hyperparathyroidism could be explained by binding of strontium-90. But you're willing to have your breast cut off, your prostate cut out, fucking heavy, heavy, hardcore chemo to freaking annihilate you anything so we can have nuclear? A study just published by the United States government reports the discovery that low-dose radiation is so safe Evacuations from future nuclear disasters may be unnecessary. If another event like Fukushima occurs, the public could be allowed to live in the fallout zones, spared from the inconvenience of relocation and compensation for damages. <coughs> Excuse me, is that on your video? Yeah. Sorry. I'll probably put music over it. Go ahead and shoot it.